you guys, it's Crystal from the Abundantly Blessed Homestead where we use the wisdom of our ancestors to make amazing, nourishing, delicious meals for our family and grow some of our own food. Today is going to be a quick intro video. I'm going to be making a series of videos over the next 10 days about healthy, quick road foods for road trips or vacations that you can still make nourishing food for your family. So I'm going to make, um, this is the video number one. I have an intro video. I'm going to let you know what recipes I'm going to be making. Um, I also wanted to let you guys know that I do have an email address. If you guys have questions or um, suggestions for video content, the email address is abhomestead22 at gmail.com. So shoot me an email. Okay, so um, one of the first meals that I plan to do is chicken feta either sandwiches or wraps. I haven't decided whether I'm gonna do sandwiches or wraps on these. Um, <clears throat> could go either way. But um, it'll either be sourdough or it'll be sprouted wheat. So I do have videos how to make both of those on this channel if you don't know how to make them. Um, you could also buy wraps from the store that have been sprouted already for you. That's okay too. So the first meal is chicken feta sandwiches or wraps, okay? Um, the next meal that I'm going to be making are cinnamon, cinnamon roll overnight oats and also some breakfast muffins. Those are all meals that are on the go meals. Um, I'm going to be making barbecue chicken wraps, uh, pulled pork wraps, and of course with these wraps I'm going to plan on um, serving them with things like uh, baby carrots and cheese sticks and maybe a, a healthy organic juice box of sorts, okay? So those are all road foods. Uh, let's see, other recipes on the list is chia seed pudding, um, homemade granola. Um, let's see. We've got homemade jerky on the list. Hang on, just getting to my other list here. Um, let's see, cinnamon roll overnight oats. I don't know if I've already said that one. Um, granola bars. We're going to make some of those. And then we're going to make some cheese it crackers. So just like you buy this at the store, we're going to make them with some sprouted wheat flour. So if you don't have a store you can buy sprouted wheat flour from, you should be watching my video about how to sprout your own wheat berries at this point, okay? Because it does take a few days. Um, so we're going to make cheese it crackers. We're going to make sour cream and onion crackers. We're also going to make a Ritz cracker. Um, and then I think I already said jerky. So those are all the videos that are going to be coming out over the next 10 days. So if you guys like that, stay tuned. Make sure you guys have your notification bell turned on so you get a notification as soon as those videos come on up. And if you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments down below. And if you want to, email me. I'd love to hear from you. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.